Hello everyone, it's Rowan from the Eternal Life Fan Club, and today I'm going to be watching a video called Six Foods to Help You Live Longer. Here we go. So right off, they seem to be promoting nuts and seeds. Um, let's talk about these three nuts. So walnuts, I've heard those are very good for you because they've got a lot of omega-3. Um, so they actually look like a brain, which is interesting. And I've heard that they're specifically good for the brain because omega-3 is good for the brain. As far as negatives, I haven't heard too many negatives about walnuts. Other than they, they are nuts, so they would have a lot of phytic acid, which is an anti-nutrient, which can leach minerals from your body. It actually inhibits the absorption of a lot of minerals, so that could be a problem. But other than that, walnuts seem pretty good. Let's talk about almonds. I've heard that almonds have one of the highest levels of anti-nutrients with all the different nuts, so they would need to be soaked a long time to kind of leach those anti-nutrients into the water. Um, I think phytic acid is the anti-nutrient that we're talking about with uh, almonds. And then with sunflower seeds, those are, I haven't, I don't know much too much about those, but I haven't heard anything too negative about them. Let's go on. Whole grains. So they're promoting whole grains. Um, you know, this is the classic food pyramid scam, okay? Whole grains, there's nothing really healthy about whole grains. Um, too much sugar, too much starch. And grains in general, well, especially gluten. They better warn us about gluten, otherwise this video is very, very bad. Because if they're promoting whole grains, most people are going to be eating like wheat and stuff like that. But um, grains in general, not a good food to make a staple. So maybe the food pyramid is a conspiracy to kill us all. That's the conclusion here. Okay. Okay, they are high in fiber, which can control blood sugar levels and maintain bowel health. Yeah, that is true. They, they're they good for, like, feeding the... They have a lot of uh, resistant starches and prebiotics. They can feed the beneficial bacteria in your colon. That is true, but then the fiber can be really harsh and irritating to the gut of many people. So if you have a damaged bowel at all, you know, wheat is... Uh, any grains probably want to limit them. Um, yeah, and actually, they're not going to control blood sugar. They're actually... They're just a bunch of sugar. Grains break down. They digest into, like, almost pure sugar minus a little bit of other nutrients, but it's mostly just sugar. That's what it breaks down to. So it's actually going to cause diabetes. It's going to cause blood sugar problems, despite the little, you know, despite the fiber. The fiber is still going to, it's not going to slow the blood sugar completely. So you're still going to get a spike of blood sugar. It's going to, you know, give yourself an insulin rush and it's going to give you blood sugar metabolic problems in the end. I think it's, it's not good. So grain should be kept a minimum. You could probably get away with some grains, okay? Even I eat corn, GMO-free corn. That's another important thing to state about grains. Make sure they're GMO-free. Let's go on. Another thing that should be mentioned with, like, okay, so they're promoting the omega-3 and the walnuts and, and so on. Um, yeah, that's good, but... You also need to make sure you get some long chain omega threes. So that would be omega threes from animal foods, like seafood, because you have to do this very hard conversion to convert plant omega threes into animal based omega threes, the long chain, you know, DHA and EPA for our brains. So make sure you eat some seafood. Don't just think you can get away with like flax seeds and walnuts and these sort of plant foods that are high in omega threes. It's also promoting, okay, so it's promoting unsaturated fats, which which are good, but it's it's all it would almost suggest 
by doing by promoting the unsaturated fats, it's almost suggesting that the saturated fats are somehow bad. Um, saturated fats are not bad. Uh, that's not been proven at all. So like coconut oil would be healthy as well. Um, Grass fed butter be another healthy fat. Avocados, of course, and you know, whatever. Oh, I didn't even mention peanut, peanut butter fat. That's a good source of fat. Maybe the best ever. Tea. Now they're promoting tea. Well, tea's not healthy because tea, every, every uh, orthorexic health nut knows that tea is very high in fluoride and fluoride calcifies your pineal gland. And so that's not good. It's not only going to calcify your pineal gland, it's probably going to calcify other soft tissues of the body because that's what fluoride does. So it can calcify your arteries. Um, but yeah, no, it's a true story. Look up tea. Tea is one of the highest sources, the naturally occurring it's one of the highest naturally occurring sources of fluoride. The tea just naturally kind of sucks up all this fluoride. So, you know, you're avoiding fluoride from the water, but then you're poisoning yourself with tea. So think twice. Okay, the antioxidants in tea may help lower the risk of premature death by 24%. Um, that is surprising. That is surprising. But, you know, you can get these antioxidants from, from other stuff. So I would not go for, I would not get the antioxidants from tea. There's plenty of other sources of antioxidants. Okay, so it talked about bananas, potassium rich. Yeah, bananas are okay to eat in moderation. Occasionally I'll have a peanut butter banana smoothie. Um, but they are they are high in sugar, so you have to watch that. Um, bananas and kiwis can lower risk of ischemic stroke by 16%. Well, that sounds great. I have no, no complaints there. I love kiwis myself. They're one of the best. Okay. Now it's... Oh, oh, it's promoting... Nightshade vegetables. I made a video about tomatoes. I don't think they're the end of the world, but um, you have to, you can't be eating tons of tomatoes. You have to kind of keep them in moderation because they are toxic. Okay, they have a lot of tox toxic lectins. They can cause arthrit arthritis in a lot of people. A lot of people are very sensitive. Um, and from what I hear, if you are going to eat tomatoes, it's best to peel them and de-seed them. It, the, the lectins are mostly found in the seeds and the skins of tomatoes. And you have to make sure you're picking the ripest tomatoes possible. You're going to have less, less, less lectins. Okay, so consider that. But I like these other vegetables. Big fan of artichokes. From what I hear, they're one of the highest sources of antioxidants. Um, avocados, great. And yeah. Seven daily servings of fruits and veggies reduces risk of heart attack, stroke, and cancer by 42%. Whoa. That is awesome. So eat your fruits and veggies. All right, well, I hope you uh, got something out of this. I hope you uh, are inspired to eat super healthy. Um, my biggest complaint with this video is it never once recommended, it never once recommended peanuts, peanut butter. That's a great food for health and longevity. Um, it never mentioned, it never mentioned a lot of stuff, but whatever. And also, if you've noticed, this video uh, never included any animal foods. So what's with that? What's with the bias? No animal foods to be found? No sardines? It's just like a vegan propaganda video here. I bet you sardines are one of the best foods for longevity. Where's the cheese? Okay, where's the cheese? 
it's this this diet they just promoted of these six foods. Okay, maybe they weren't going into everything, but I just thought it would have been fair to include at least one animal food. You know, what's with this? Okay. Like, for instance, we know eggs are good for longevity because eggs are the their most eaten. Japan is the 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 country that eats the most eggs and they have the highest life expectancy. So there's that's the final conclusion here. Make sure you also eat some eggs and uh, things like that. There you go. Thank you and may you live forever.